Wow. Happy, today's Monday, eh, Richard? Yeah. Happy Monday, Pioneer Invitational Club. I got my little chihuahuas, they're out the door, they're going crazy. Come on, guys, let's go outside, come on, come on. I got one little chihuahua, he loves to go crazy when he hears the music. Ryan, Pioneer Invitational, one loft race. Hey, look, Richard, the trumpeter geese, right there. Not something? That's a sign of good luck, isn't it? That's a sign of luck. Trumpeter geese, guys. If you haven't seen them and you like birds, take a look at the trumpeter geese. You hear my other little guys? They're going crazy. That's okay. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Pioneer Invitational, day number six. That's right. Day number six. My chihuahuas are going nuts. Big build today. Richard, thanks for tuning in. I'm just making sure you can hear me okay. Thumbs up, wild faces. 32 by 8. It's coming to an end. Well, not coming to an end. We got the back wall up. We got the front walls up. We're working now on the side walls for tomorrow. Now, I know you're looking at my mug, and you're thinking to yourself, what must this thing look like? Well, we're going to swing this around. Let's swing it around here. And there we have it. 32 by 8. 8 feet tall, 6 feet tall at the back. Let, whoops, don't get yourself sick. Again, come around here and you'll get a better little view of the side of it. Again, you'll see the white panels. You can open and close those for light or to darken them down. The white panels, whoops, the white panels right there. Those are the traps. The bobs are in. Four sets of traps. Let's let you guys in. They're getting a little crazy. This is live, guys. This is Facebook Live. They're okay now. So we got the traps. They're put in. You're going to see below the traps. Hey, Troy, my man. You're an Up North Combine member, Troy. We've only got about 35 spots left, Troy. We're hoping you're going to put a bird in. Keep flying, guys. Troy, I hope to see you here with a bird. I think it'll be good. Lots of fun. If you see those small little white slits in there, those are vents. They've got wire in front so you can open it up. The front breathes. No problem. Ventilation goes out through the top, the back wall of the loft. Again, you'll see four sections. Yes, all the panels darkened down. It's going to have a flat roof uh, sloping to the back. And uh, in that there, we're going to have the skylights put in. Yes, the skylight's going to be put in. This loft faces the north, so it doesn't get direct sunlight but we'll lighten the birds through the ceiling, warm them up good. A lot of lofts I've visited. Brad, thanks for tuning in. Troy, should have let you know a month ago, Troy. Hey, if you, if you don't have babies that are ready, we'll find someone that has babies for you. Nothing wrong with that. We've already had that happen. I want to thank Al Gibbons at the Peach Classic uh, in the United States. He, uh, he put a bird in. Uh, donated by Rick Fife, so that's good. Let's not make excuses, guys. You can play in this race. It's not rocket science. Lots of top breeders that'll breed you a bird. Or, hey, if you've got a bird that's out, bring them over. We'll break them. No problems. Again, 32 by 8. The loft is going to lighten from the roof. And when we open up the panels here in the front, uh, in Europe, a lot of the lofts, guys sometimes have to face their lofts to the north. All the lofts to the north, they all had skylights facing the south through the roof. And actually, the lofts heated up very, very nicely, which I really liked. Philippe, thanks for tuning in. So we took on the same type of concept. I like how it works. Uh, it'll be good for the internet connection, I believe. So this is sort of the front. And yes, those white panels, they're plastic. They have wire just in front of them. The birds do not go out from there. You'll see those small little white, white little uh, plastic covers there. Those slide open a little further. The birds come out there. Again, guys, I don't want birds going out through the windows, rocketing speed, smashing India. No. 
Let's get some control. Neil, thanks for tuning in. Again, I want to make sure that my feed is good, so I'm just going to stay up here for today. Again, we haven't done anything on the roof yet. We haven't put the sidewalls on yet, the doors in, and then we got to start on the section. So tomorrow we're going to get the sidewalls in. We're going to put doors on each end in case we want to open those doors just to get a cross breeze maybe. Or hey, want to run from one end to the other. Uh, we got to get our landing boards in. But that's all going to take time. What color should we paint it? That's a good question. What should we name it? It's got to get a name. She is beautiful. Uh, Richard and myself, I think we've done a, for non-carpenters, we've done pretty darn good. I'm pretty impressed at this point. Um, again, the support so far is going great. I think there's about 35 spots uh, available. Again, uh, today, I got to add on Fernando Dietry. He's putting in two birds. That's got to get put up on the Wind Companion. He messaged me today. Great support from the Humber Valley there. Uh, I like that. Again, guys, this race is an eight-race series. Eight races. We start the first week of August flying eight weeks with Canada's number one and largest combine, the Up North Combine. That's right, the Up North Combine. Guys, it's the largest in Canada. Some weeks... There's 1,000 to 1,200 birds at a release. That's pretty good for Canada. Round of applause for the Up North Combine. Also, the eight weeks that we fly with the Up North, these birds are going to be liberated and clocked with the Combine birds. They're going to compete, be competing week in, week out. Guys, we got to have our shit together because you know what? You can't sit around and train them on only tailwinds. we got to work these birds to give them the best shot to compete Again, guys, first bird to the loft at each race will win $525. Second bird will win $225. What does it cost to enter? $225 per bird. $125 goes to prize, uh, the prize uh, structure. $100 is for perch fees. At the end of the eight race series, we are going to pay first, second, and third average speed pigeons. That'll entail $1,625. $1,000 plus $625 plus we're paying first, second, and third champion points. Again, $1,625 for first, five, uh, or sorry, $1,000 for second, and five, or $625 for third. Sorry, I got my numbers getting mixed up there. Also, you have an opportunity then to fly these exact pigeons in the board and bond race. Canada's I would say largest young bird open race run by the board and bond race. And hey, if you want to enter into the board and bond race and you're in an up north combine member and you don't know who to call, call Mario Ray, call Kenny Foster, call Ellen Sutton, call, uh, who's the other guy? I'm thinking, I just want to give you some names so who you can contact. Go on uh, the up north combine Facebook page and type in there if you have a question and you want to find out about the race season or what open races you can participate in, go on the Up North Combine's Facebook page, throw in your questions and comments there. And if you can't get a hold of them on that page, hey, you're already on the Pioneer Club. Send us a PM. No problem. Send us a message and we'll relay that to the Up North Combine. Sometimes they don't get back to you. That's okay. Everyone's busy. I hope everyone's staying safe. Take a look at her. Bob's are in. We're going to be using the Unicon. We're on the Wind Companion now. Go on there to sign up. I think there's about 33 spots remaining. You are going to see uh, Pioneer. We have, I think, three or four spots available that we're going to raffle off a few prizes. So there's actually under 100 spots remaining. Under 100. We're not going to take 101 birds, guys. I'm sorry to say we're not doing it. 32 by 8, 100 pigeons. They'll be flown on the darkening system. Everything is going to be posted on Facebook. You're seeing day six. Yesterday was a great day. Rick Fife, Niagara Peninsula, one loft race was here. Must have had about six guys come, show him support, drop off birds. He picked them up. We had a great afternoon. We had some lunch together. We talked to pigeons. Rick is a fantastic guy. Uh, he's accepting birds till about the middle, middle or end of May. His price to enter in his one loft race is $175 per pigeon. That's correct, $175. He flew tremendous last year, especially in the Inglehart Open, which is unfortunately no longer. 
Uh, I believe he took the first uh, whack of positions with one loft race pigeons. And yes, guys, that's what we're going to do again. The same. We like to compete with the one loft pigeons against the combine. It keeps us honest and true and wanting to do a good job. And it gives your pigeons a real, real test. I'm sorry to say, but a lot of these one loft races, it's tailwinds, nice days, pick when it's going to be okay. Uh, we're going to put them on the combine. We're going to let our our liberators of the up north combine, they do a fantastic job. Andy Pallotta, Jason Nelson, some of the best liberators, I would say, in the country. They're going to be liberating the birds. These birds go on the up north combine trailer. Uh, so it is one hell of a good test. What else can I say? 225 to enter. Great prize money weekly. Also, these birds, you can enter them into that board and bond race. What's the price? It's $300 a bird. $50 goes to administration fees. That gets you into the board and bond race so you can win prize money in the board and bond race. Also, we're going to have a big prize here as well. Check it out on our page. I believe we're paying uh, 60 30 40 or something like that. The, the price goes down. I'm sorry. I don't have it off the top of my head. Go check that out. So that's nine races against the Combine. And, hey, I was talking with the Niagara Peninsula one loft race, Rick Fife, and he wants to do an encore on after that. And I said, hey, Rick, you know what? As long as the people are happy and they're enjoying the show, we have no problems. Week in, week out, we look forward to racing these birds. Guys, take the time. Think about the pigeons you're sending us, okay? These pigeons have to go eight weeks Eight weeks. That's all I got to say. So day six wrap up. You see the shoots. You see the vents. You can see it all. 32 spots now available. We got to figure out what color we want to paint it. What we want to name this thing. It's beautiful. Congratulations to Richard. We haven't lost any uh, fingers or limbs or anything like that yet. Put in your comments below. Put some pictures up of your loft on these comments here. Chris Stacy, thanks for tuning in. Chris, I know you're going to be in this race. You're going to knock them dead, Chris. Chris loves flying the Canadian one loft races. And guys, we're doing this for you. We want you to have a race where your birds are truly tested week in, week out. We will not be the liberators. The Up North Combine is going to be doing the liberating. Again, all shipping nights will be posted on this page. You will see every pigeon being basketed, scanned, chipped, rubber ringed. You name it, you're going to see it. I got to go. Stay safe, guys, okay? We're going to be on tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be showing you the sides of the lofts, the doors. So this is the next tricky part. Doors are always tricky. If you're good at putting doors, let me know. Give me some tips. Put them in the comments below. All right, guys. I am now going to let you all go because after this long day, again, vodka and Pepsi in a Jupiler glass, fantastic Belgian beer. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. If you like what you see, hey, Go on over to our Feathers Elite Pigeon Auction page on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. We want 15,000 subscribers. I'm hoping to get 15,000. I want 15,000. Then we're going to go for 20,000. We had a hell of a good day. Chris, Frank, Neil. I miss Billy, Billy Jones from Texas. He didn't tune in today. But, Billy, if you do, come on and watch this. Thanks for tuning in. 32 spots left. Where do you go to sign up? Pioneer Invitational. We're on the win companion. Fuzzy, thanks for tuning in. Fuzz, you just tuned in. So we'll give you a quick shot of this. 32 by 8. Beautiful loft. We're doing a great job. We're going to see you on day number 7. Keep the show rolling. Guys, thank you for your support. If you have any questions, featherselite at gmail.com. Or, hey, give me a call. Stay safe. Don't over-sanitize your, your hands. And Ricky, what do you always say about pigeons? What do they keep us? Keep us alive. 
Pigeons keep you alive, guys. Enjoy your pigeons. Post photos of your loft below. How you've done lighting in your ceilings, or if you if you put skylights, post photos of that in. Let's keep her going. Thanks, guys. We gotta go. Bye.